Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel, everyone. Everyone, when was the last time you had Accra soup? Well, it is Accra season in Nigeria. So how do you prepare it? Well, in this video, I share with you my ingredients, super easy and super affordable ingredients to prepare your healthy Accra soup. So keep watching and let's dive into making it, everyone. So here are my ingredients. So the first ingredient is the Accra. So all of that Accra is just bought for 500 Like I said, Accra is in season now so it is everywhere and okra is one of those healthy vegetables you can easily make with simple ingredients so to that i will be using goat's meats you can use any other meats like beef cow leg cow skin the choice even chicken some would like to use so to make it more delicious i will be adding my cow skin that is more more i'm using the brown one we have also the white one but i prefer the brown cow skin and then to that i have my banla fish now banla seems to be the cheapest in the market when i say cheapest it doesn't mean that it's super cheap before now we would want to use um titus fish that, that is macro but these days we go with um um banla fish this was really smoked properly and super nice then i have my palm oil then for the vegetable uh, the leaf i'll be using oziza leaf oziza leaves gives your akra soup a nice flavor and a nice aroma if you've not used oziza leaf to cook akra soup before please give it a try anything draws Uzza is super nice. So if you've not seen Uzza leaf before, this is what it looks like. It has a long stain or a strand. So you need to pluck out the leaves from the stain or from the strand. Just what I showed you. I'll be preparing it off camera, everyone. So I've, I have my um, crayfish or dry prawn branded one ready for this soup and as you all know if you've been watching my video i don't cook soup without yellow chili pepper so here is my yellow chili pepper already blended so here are the simple ingredients my banana didn't cost so much to buy so we can equally make do with why we can afford titles or microfish we can go for banla it gives it a nice test keep watching because i will show you how i prepare this banla so it gives you a nice test now to start with the okra i always wash it with um soak it with enough salt doing this help to remove all those greenish worms or insects that might stick to the body so i'm going to allow it to soak here for some minutes before i cut it off camera everybody have different way of cutting their okra some like to use greater blender i love to use my hand to cut it the way i would like so keep watching and don't go away why this is a side now for my cow skin this is what i do I take a knife and scrape the inside properly because sometimes it is super dirty black and it's sandy. So I take my time to scrape it. If you don't, if you don't know how to manage this, do this with knife, please use iron sponge. I think I've made a video on how to use an iron sponge to cleanse the bomba or cow skin properly. You see all the things coming out we don't need that for our soup then after that i also go ahead and scrape the back i will do this to all the cow skin that i'm going to be using so everyone if you, this is your first time in my channel you are highly welcome if you're returning thanks for returning back please don't forget to thumbs up like my video share my video subscribe if you've not yet subscribed and don't forget to watch the ads support my channel by watching the ads as they display and share my video to your friends and families all right so this is how i dice the bomo i cut them into smaller size 
cut yours to the size you would prefer to use for your soup so after cutting this i will set it aside keep watching and don't go away and now this is how i take my time to prepare the banla fish first i will remove the head and then go ahead to remove all the intestines that are not needed and as well as the bone especially if you have kids even if you don't have kids i'm one of those people that like eating so without any obstacles i don't want bone hooking on my throat or sticking to the um balls of um, Iba. so i'm going to do that to all of them some would also like to remove the skins but i did not remove the skins i just care about removing those things that are not needed from the inside so after doing all of this i will go ahead and wash it properly and rinse and rinse thoroughly making sure there is no sand and after doing that i'll be and um, cooking all together with the good meats now the reason to cook why i have to cook all of this together is because besides having almost um, cooking time i love the ingredients the flavor to get into the banla fish if you know banla fish it doesn't it doesn't really have taste so for you to um for you to eat it and enjoy you need to spice it very well so after putting the cow skin the momo uh, and i mean the cow skin the goat meat i add my seasoning chopped onions and yellow pepper and allow to cook and so after dicing the okra this is what it looks like and the other one is the oziza okay so after lying the meats and the banla the cow skin to simmer you notice it's produced enough water and i will allow it to cook so that the seasoning gets into it and after that i'll be adding more water so for seasoning i use um one tablespoonful of um um seasoning half teaspoon of salt one tablespoonful of uh, yellow chili pepper um a bulb of onions so after it has cooked properly i'll go ahead and add my crayfish add crayfish according to your taste some don't like much some like it when it's tasty and then to that i add my oil now i allow this oil to cook with the soup stock so it blends properly it doesn't make my soup to be looking so yellow because i love the veggie to be greenish so i just added the quantity of water i will be needing and allow it to cook properly for at least 20 minutes and after 20 minutes i will go ahead and add the chopped okra you notice that i chopped my okra i use my hands to chop this okra to this size you see some would like to um, use blender but i choose to use my hands to do this so after adding i just mix to blend and allow it to cook just for a minute then after that i'll go ahead and turn after turning it just making sure that everything blends the next thing to do is to add my oziza leaf everyone the aroma of the soup is taking all over the whole kitchen in fact the whole house the flavor the aroma and then here comes the oziza leaf so let me know at the comment section if you have ever used oziza leaf to cook akra soup and what was the taste like tell me the flavor the aroma did you like it would you like to try it again so after this now i will mix all together for at least a minute on a low flame and after that our soup is ready you notice it is not um it is still greenish it is not looking like what they've cooked for half um, a week so after this i will just dish it out our soup is ready if you watch my video up to this point don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos to your friends and family all right thanks for watching thanks for tuning in stay safe stay connected see you all in my next video and bye for now